Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Timber and Stone and it looks like this episode we're going to be finishing off the interior of the city so all the structures should be built there'll be some minor details here and there like trees and shrubbery but all the large structures will be done and then we'll start building up the outer walls uh, to seal that up completely and then after that project is done, the next project, of course, is going to be the docks, the harbor, uh, things like that. So soon, uh, there'll be less housing going up and more warehouses, more cranes, uh, a little bit more just aesthetic stuff. Uh, the city was mainly homes just because, uh, I mean, I just wanted a safe place for all of our townsfolk to live and I wanted to give off the nice uh, dense feeling that all these buildings give off so it uh, yeah it's turning out really well thank you guys so much for sticking with me through all these episodes this has actually been probably one of the longer series next to medieval engineers that I have uh, done and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it and uh, coming by pretty much every every three two to three days to check out uh the progress all the building progress so yeah we'll just go ahead and up the speed up to two times speed uh, get these houses going there's only going to be two down here and then just detailing and wall building uh, and then this thing will be pretty much done I'm gonna do a quick just skim around to make sure everything's all nice and safe. I'm starting to get worried that if something gets caught on fire by a necromancer, we will be in a lot of trouble in that sense, but so far it looks okay. I should probably really look up the dev blog for Timber and Stone, make sure that there hasn't been an update or anything. Yeah, if there's any good new features coming out. I haven't checked that in a long while. Um, that's something I really need to do for sure. So I can stay up to date. I know Hearthstone got an update a little bit ago. And that was to add storage crates. So people don't have to use giant stockpiles anymore. Uh, I believe the pathing, some pathing bugs got fixed. Though I'm sure it's still not 100% perfect. And so we're going to be sticking with timber and stone for a while. Though, stone hearth, in my opinion, in the long run, I like the art style more. Uh, you know, looking at pixel art, I mean, it's nice, but after a while, it does hurt your eyes and the details and things like that. Now, I like the cleaner art style that comes with uh, stone hearth. So, yeah, so they're going to be hammering away for a while. And then, let's see, let's go ahead and build up more walls here. And this is going to be a full timbered structure on the second story. And then once I tell them to work on this, I will... Go ahead and show you guys kind of the two new homes that I built off camera in between the episodes. So first home we have is kind of a, a nicer home for sure. It has pale brick for the first floor and then plaster on top. It's got kind of a winged entrance here. If we scroll down, you can see what we have on the first floor. Nice eating area fireplace we have stone benches and then just a nice double bed upstairs so it's a nice little home back here in the back I fit a thatched structure and it uses umber brick as its walls but as you can see it's, it's just a single person home in the back out of the way uh, just tucked away through this little alley pathway here uh, surrounded by trees. There's also a little small uh, picnic table like thing back here as well. And then I can also show you guys the finished estate home in terms of interior. 
uh, last episode this is what we built and I kind of left it unfurnished because I was pretty tired but we have two bedrooms four beds total a decent amount of bookshelves dressers uh, weapon storage tool storage armor storage uh, just kind of a common room in here and then first floor we have some more bookcases a statue of some kind some benches plenty of tables desks and chairs storage underneath the staircase and the staircase does wrap around from both directions and that's about it it's yeah it's an okay structure the entryway you know it has the nice kind of gardened look kind of going up into it and it's nice and clean looking I'm thinking we're gonna put a warehouse on each side of the gate and then we'll move down to maybe some homes on the edges or maybe out here and actually wrap around some sort of boardwalk and then I'm thinking I don't get many hostiles coming from this way because they spawn on this island and immediately go to the bridge usually so building this direction is generally safer so I'm gonna build Maybe some sort of dry dock looking structure over here. Normal docks going out in pretty much every direction out here. And then uh, hopefully I might have to do some test build and maybe create a Minecraft or something. Something that I can do block, uh, single block like Minecraft or Timber and Stone here to do some tests. I want to do maybe one one maybe two ships uh, in the docks and then maybe one being constructed and this home that we have over here I think this home is actually not going to be finished this home is going to end up being partially constructed and uh, we'll have to build some cranes or something for that So let's go ahead, thinking a three wide window there. And then that's some nice doubles on those sides. In which case we can just bring these up all the way to give us our nice peak. Wrong button. Nope. Uh. Usually the best thing to do when you're doing uh, far ahead kind of designs and you're working on it still and they're building in the area, it's best to pause the game, but that's gonna slow down the overall episode. So I can't really do that here. Which isn't too bad. It's not a big deal. That one block was kind of done by mistake. In fact, if we go over to the mine, just scroll down here. Just grab Wilfred Moore or something. Move it over this direction. The next immigrant that we're going to have is going to be an archer. Even though I kind of swore off archers earlier, it was requested that someone wanted to be an archer, so. Um, Hawkins will be joining the town as an archer and will be trained and hopefully he has good keen vision because otherwise he's not going to be very good. We do have 39 people in the town. I believe I lost some no-name infantrymen a little bit ago to a goblin marauder. He was out there by himself and got sworn by three people who killed two by himself, so... I'm okay with that. That was an okay kill death ratio. And it is so hot in my apartment right now. I am sweating. Like, if I had a face cam, you guys would just basically see as if I just ran a marathon. Because this is a little ridiculous. 
Oh, we got some skeletons coming into town. Where are they at? They're out here. Not really a big threat. Unless there's a necromancer. Are you running? Nigel, you don't run. Go kill them. There you go. Kurt, you go out this direction. Make sure things are safe out this way. So we charge him. Go out even more. And then Nigel split off and go this direction. These two. I have been slowly increasing my reserves of the mithril ore just so I can make, you know, the strongest armor for all of our infantrymen eventually. That is still a goal to accomplish and will definitely improve the survival rate on everyone so that'll be nice once we get to that point oh, looks like they're done building up those so put the roof on roofing it's gonna be a roof tile structure or not roof tile that makes no sense wooden tile think about what I'm doing. The combat music is slightly distracting me because I'm thinking we're in danger, but we are definitely not in any danger. Alright, construction walls. Let's do full timber. There we go. Bit of a brown building, but that's okay. You'll get that from time to time. And then we're already at 12 minutes. See, like, I kind of wish building was a lot quicker. Or something. Because it feels like I do so much stuff on camera. Or actually so little. And then it's already time to do a bit of a skip. And uh, you guys miss out on a whole lot of just intermediate stages of what everything looks like. And uh, that guy's trapped. So let's give him a little bit of an escape route. There we go. Hopefully he will use that and become free. There we go. And it can get rid of these. Shouldn't happen twice. Let's go down to the first floor and we'll go ahead and start furnishing while that's being done. It's just a roof. So let's go to medium table, of course. So we'll do that and then I guess the fireplace will go up on the second floor. Well, let's let's do this. Uh, can I fit some type of banner here? No. I can fit a shrubbery though. Then a stone bench. put some storage for some tools here as well. So we'll do a tool chest. We'll also do an armor chest. Oh boy, I need to tell our wood cutters to actually remove some trees for us. Because I'm about to run out of lumber. Didn't even notice. It's no good. So we'll just Kind of trim the immediate area around the castle a little bit. Oh, too much. There we go. 
All right, so let's get into evening. We're already 15 minutes in. I'm gonna go ahead and skip here and hopefully the interior for the town will be 100% done, uh, minus the walls, but that's, that's such a long process. There's no way I'm gonna be able to fit that in a video because uh, that's, I mean, to get all these wall sections done and detailed out, it's probably gonna be another three hours if I just do that, so that's gonna be a little while. Hope you guys don't mind that, but it's about all I can offer there. So, uh, yeah, we'll just be back once these structures are kind of done. I'll put some details, some tables and trees here and there just to fill in some of the dead spots. And I'll give you guys a tour, uh, maybe in first person view, just how everything looks. All right, everyone, so we have the finished city. Um, minus the walls, of course. And it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the inside of the wooden home here. Uh, this is just in first person view. And we have some understair storage as per the usual. We've got chests, we've got uh, food storage, we have tool storage, miscellaneous, we got bookcases. Then upstairs we have uh, weapon storage, tool storage. I don't know why I can't move. Why, why can't I climb? Come on. Come. No? Okay. There's stuff up there. Believe me. Uh, we have the finished construction kind of zone here. This is uh, one of the homes kind of under construction. How many times can I say construction? And, uh, yeah, it's just basically under construction is what I want to say over here. Partially built walls, a bunch of scaffolding, a bunch of resources kind of stacked up as if they're trying to actually use it. And looks pretty nice back here. A little bit of a, some benches, a well. These trees will look better once they're fully grown. Um, and then, of course, an access point up to the wall. So, this is what it looks like on the ground floor. I want to try and get back to the front so I can show you guys just, you know, the overall density of everything. And I have to say, if this was Minecraft, you know, and I was walking around, it would feel pretty good, I would say. The, the detailing is good. The scale of everything is pretty good. Um might feel a little bit smaller than what it should but that's okay uh, it fits the game well and really that's what you're looking for when you're doing this kind of thing let's go around this back alley and just see if we can fit back here yep there's a lot of little nooks and crannies places to go people to see so there is that let's take Lawrence and put Lawrence back into our stonemason and then zoom out here so you can guys see the final density of everything and that'll pretty much be this episode thank you guys so much for watching as always if you guys are enjoying the videos feel free to subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness uh, check out medieval engineers which will be tomorrow uh, that's the video We'll be working on our floating magical islands of awesome uh, pretty much for the, if I had to guess, the next month or so. So that's going to be a long, big build, and it's going to be pretty epic. So you guys can stick around for that. Uh, of course, Timber and Stone, we still have a lot of work to do. Uh, the city, really, was just a minor piece of everything. Just like when we finished the castle, it was a long pro project, but... Again, minor piece to the whole puzzle. Uh, so, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you all have a good night.